waiting for Friday to arrive, and we better enjoy it while we can, right? Yeah, enjoy today. Mm -hmm. It's going to be nice and dry. It will be warm. Right. However, tomorrow morning around this time, we're going to be tracking some big storms, mm -hmm. it looks like, okay. uh, unfortunately. And we got to be talking about severe weather as well. So let's talk about what we have around right now. Partly cloudy sky in Anniston. Kind of blocking that sunrise for you, Lee. 72 degrees there right now. A heat advisory in effect for our western counties for noon until 7 o'clock this afternoon, this evening. Looks like heat index values will rise upwards of 105 to 106, maybe 107 degrees in our western counties. Eastern counties, it's going to be hot and it's going to be humid. However, not quite as bad as folks in West Alabama are going to feel. Right now, numbers are in the low and mid 70s with a few spots in the upper 60s. Gadsden, Ashland at 69 degrees, but 74 in Fayette, 74 also in Moundville and Hamilton. Those are the mild spots around the area. All right, now let's get to the severe weather risk. Into tonight and early tomorrow, the best risk, the moderate risk for folks in southern Indiana, Kentucky, and into Tennessee, West Tennessee. These storms will actually hold together, form uh, to our north and hold together and move south into central Alabama as we go throughout the early morning hours on Saturday. So you see by Friday night, by tonight, right around midnight or so, you start to see the first storms approach our northern counties. These will pack a strong punch with damaging winds, also heavy rain, lots of lightning. As they move south, they continue to gain some strength, and some spots will be uh, a little bit worse than others, and we think most of our northwestern counties will see the brunt of these storms as they move through. By the time we get to, say, 4 to 5 o'clock, another line that won't be quite as strong will move through with more heavy rainfall, maybe some gusty winds, and also lots of lightning as well. If the atmosphere is able to recover, on Saturday afternoon with a little bit more unstable air and sunshine, we could see some supercell thunderstorms form. So a lot of different hazards on Saturday with those afternoon storms that form. We could see an isolated tornado risk. So a lot to unpack here over the next 24 to 48 hours for us. So early Saturday into the afternoon hours, that will be the time frame we'll be looking at with damaging winds in the morning and isolated tornado possible if the storms form in the af afternoon. That is heavily dependent on if the atmosphere does recover in time or not. 93 for this afternoon. Isolated storms, but mainly just hot and humid for today. Mid-70s when you wake up tomorrow morning, but a weather-aware day with overnight storms. That time frame, midnight to around 6 a.m. Some of these will be severe. And the seven-day forecast shows the weather-aware day for Saturday. Sunday, just a few clouds around. Temperatures in the upper 80s. Not bad for Monday, but then by Tuesday and Wednesday, more active weather returns to the forecast.